Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Phonics. So we're going to start by looking at all of the phase two sounds. We're going to say the letter name and the letter sound. Are you ready? I've mixed them up from last time. Off we go. My name is O and my sound is O. My name is N and my sound is N. My name is K and my sound is K. My name is H and my sound is H. My name is P and my sound is P. My name is E and my sound is E. My name is D and my sound is D. My name is S and my sound is S. My name is B and my sound is B. My name is A and my sound is A. My name is F and my sound is F. My name is M and my sound is M. My name is G and my sound is G. It's a digraph, a digraph. Has two letters, digraph, makes one sound. My name is U and my sound is U. Uh. My name is I and my sound is I. My name is R and my sound is R. Uh. My name is C and my sound is K. My name is T and my sound is T. My name is L and my sound is L. Okay, let's quickly look at the phase two tricky words. We know all of these tricky words. So we're going to go through them all together. We'll say the mnemonics first and then you can have a go on your own. Into, I, N, to. Into, into, into. G, O, let go. N, O, spells no. T, O, two. I, I draw my body, hat and shoes. T, H, E spells the. Okay, I'm going to mix them up. Are you ready to see how quickly you can say them all? Two, no, go, into, I, the. Well done if you beat me and managed to say the tricky word before Miss Lebes did. You must be quite speedy. Okay, now our new sound for today is a one arm robot. Many of you will already know this sound. I'm going to give you some clues and see if you can guess what our new sound is. On the sound mat, I have circled all of the one arm robot letters. P, N, M, R, H and B. The one arm robot letter that we are learning today goes down, up and over. It does not tickle the top. It's not an ascending letter. It does not tickle the bottom. It's not a descending letter. But it does have two humps, kind of like a camel. Have you managed to guess which sound it is that we're doing today? Well done if you guessed M. This is the sound that we're going to be practising. Join in with me. My name is M and my sound is Mm. Let's try again. My name is M and my sound is M. Mm. Now I've got my ice cream cone again. My name is M and my sound is M. Mm. You might like to pause the video here and have a go at doing your own ice cream cone with the letter M as a clappity capital and the lowercase above. Let's have a look at how we form this letter. 
We all know it's a one arm robot, which means we go down, up and over. But as I said, it does not tickle the top and it does not tickle the bottom. It just sits beautifully on the line. Are you ready? You can join in with me if you've got a pen and paper to hand. Down, up, over, over. Can you see my little flick at the bottom? Make sure you've added that on yours. Are you ready? Down, up, over, over. Shall we try one more time? Make sure that you are following that line back up in the middle. Watch me. Are you ready? Down, up the line, over. And I'm going to go back up that line again. Up, 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 up all the way over with a lovely little flick at the end. Mmm. Now, I've got a friend who wanted to join us today. You might recognise him from school. He's a little bit shy. You might need to give him some magic fingers so that he comes onto the camera. Are you ready? Where will he appear from? Oh! Hello. Does anybody remember who this is? You're right, it's Puff the Phonics Dragon. And Puff the Phonics Dragon is desperate to join in today. Puff decided to go around the house looking for something beginning with mmm. So off he went around the house to find something beginning with mmm. Maybe you could pause the video here and go and have a look around your house to see if you can find something beginning with mmm. Okay, if you've had a look around your house, I wonder if you found the same things as Puff. The first thing Puff found was this. He went into my fridge to get it. Puff found a mushroom. Can you say it with me? Mushroom. Mushroom. We can hear the first sound is mmm. Okay, the next one is quite heavy for Puff to hold. Are you ready? Come on, Puff, you can do it. All the way up to the camera, all the way up. Oh, Puff found one of my mugs. Mug, my turn, mug. Our turn, mug, 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 mug. Puff found a mug. We can hear that mug starts with the sound mmm. Now we're going to come back to the mug in just a moment because Puff has set a challenge for us. But before that, we're going to have a look at this super sentence. Puff has set us the challenge of reading this sentence, but he said he would like you to have a go at reading it on your own first. Maybe you can pause this video and have a go at reading the sentence without my help. And then when you've done it, we will read it all together afterwards. Okay, shall we have a go at reading it all together now? I hope you had a try on your own, boys and girls. We can see this word here is in red. So we know it's a tricky, tricky, tricky word, tricky word, tricky word, tricky, tricky, tricky word, tricky, tricky word. This is tricky word, the. T-H-E spells the. And Puff even remembered the clappity capital at the start. Let's keep reading. The. Mm, a, mm, man. I, s, is. Let's kangaroo jump back to the start. The. Man. Is. M mm, a d. Try it again. M mm, a d. Mad. Let's kangaroo jump. The man is mad. And a full stop at the end. Puff, we think your sentence says the man is mad. Are we right? Well done, everybody. We read Puff's challenge. The man is mad. 
Now, Puff was really impressed with your sentence writing that you've been doing. And Puff said he would like to watch us have a go all together at writing our own sentence. Are you ready to wow Puff? Maybe we can work so hard that his socks will fall off because he'll be so impressed. Now, I've got two lines on my board. You might like to draw some lines on your paper or even use your home learning journey. And we're going to have a go at writing a sentence all about my mug. Hmm, what could we write about the mug? Let's keep it nice and simple so we can get green for great. I know, my mug is really big and it's got hot tea in it. Sounds a bit tricky. We could have a go at writing that, but I wonder if first we should do something nice and simple to get us going. How about, the mug is big. Can you say it with me? The mug is big. One more time. The mug is big. How many words are in my sentence? The mug is big. Four words. Don't forget we've got a tricky word at the start. What's the first word we need, everybody? The mug is big. Tricky word, the. And we need to remember our clappity capital. T H E spells the. The mug. Can you stretch out mug for me, please? I'm going to listen to hear what sound you can hear in the word. Mug. Mmm, fantastic. Now, don't forget your finger space. I've got my finger space here, so I'm going to start my writing just after. Off we go. Mmm, down, up and over, over. The mmm, uh, fantastic. Down, up, down, and flick. Mmm, ug. Mmm, ug. It's a curly caterpillar letter. Curly caterpillar up and down. We know that this letter tickles the bottom. The mug is. Okay, my finger space is back. It's a new word, so I'm going to start my writing just after the finger space. Are you ready? Is. I, is, I, s. Excellent. The mug is, what word did we decide to use? Let's have a look at the size. Whoa, it is a big mug. So the mug is big. Let's stretch it out. Big. B, B, I. B, I, G. Curly caterpillar up and down. And what do I need at the end of my super sentence? A full stop. Not a football though. The mug is big. Have a look at my sentence. Did you manage to write a sentence the same as mine saying the mug is big? Maybe you could challenge yourselves to have a go at writing another super sentence. You might like to try and write about my mushroom. Or you could find something else in your house that starts with the mmm sound. Let's do my name and, name is and my sound is one more time. My name is M and my sound is mmm. Thank you for joining me for phonics today, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Keep up the hard work and have a go at writing some words or even a sentence with a word that starts with mmm in it. Take care. Bye.